Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 12th of September 2018. I'm using the amazing Game of Thrones tarot deck for today's reading. Not sponsored. Call me Game of Thrones tarot people. I'm going to choose three cards to give you an insight into what the day's energy is about. How you can navigate that energy and how you can use it to your advantage so that you can have the best day possible. So here, I'm being told to pull something here. Four of Spears, which is the Four of Wands. This is the happiest card in the deck, so that's a good start. Then we have the Ten of Coins, even better. And then we have the Ace of Coins. OMG, do not turn off. This is a day you will want to hear about. This is so positive. It doesn't get much better than this. Okay, so the Four of Spears is the Four of Wands. The Suit of Wands is about passion, life purpose, fire, things that make you burn brightly. And anything that gives you a sense of excitement. You can see these flowers here. And we've got Sansa and Loris walking through there. And they are trying to walk through this threshold. And if they had walked through this threshold, they would be married. And they would be celebrating and they would be happy in High Garden. Everything would be wonderful. So the Four of Spears today is a message for you that there's an invisible threshold that you're going to cross today. And once you cross that invisible threshold, you're going to bump into or meet the person who you're meant to be with. There's a very great likelihood that someone appears in your life today and that they stay for a long time. And the reason I, and, and that's why I'm saying you may meet the man or woman of your dreams because of this card more so than this card or in connection with these two cards in connection to each other indicate love and romance and relationships, but also longevity long-term stability, abundance, prosperity, richness, security, things not changing. So the 10 of coins is the highest number in the suit of coins. And coins, pentacles, is all about the physical world. It's about your body. It's about your daily routine. It's about working, working hard. And it's also about creating financial prosperity and abundance. So it rules money. So by the time you get to the Ten of Coins, it's a gate card usually. And usually it's a gate card because it means that you've settled in your wealth. So you're older now. You have worked very hard and you have um, earned all of these beautiful things around you. Usually your children are around in other tarot decks, I mean, and the grandchildren are around and the dog and all the symbols that represent that you are wealthy and it's going to stay that way. Now in this deck, we have got the pentacles shaped as the Tyrell Rose and the Tyrells are a family, Loris Tyrell, they're the second richest in this story. And the fact that we've got this means that the Tyrells have been very wealthy for a very long time and it indicates that it's a it's a, oh, we can see a shoulder here. So this is the wedding. This is the wedding of Marjorie Tyrell to Joffrey. But the Tyrells um, are rich because of the land, um, wheat and apples and wine and um, uh, grapes and all of the things that we need to eat. So they get, they get their riches and their wealth by actually... Um, farming and creating food and abundance that way, they don't mine gold specifically. They take the wealth and abundance that they've got from nature, from the earth. They live in a part of the country where the ground is very fertile and they're lucky enough to turn that into products which they then sell. And that has been happening for thousands and thousands of years. So the Ten of Coins means permanent security and a situation that isn't going to change. And that's why I'm saying that there's a person, you may be walking along and then the life partner is walking along here and you meet at the threshold and you're like, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry I bumped into you there. Didn't see you there. Oh, hello. 
you have lovely eyes. And then it's like, so do you. Have we met before? <laughs> and then let's go for a coffee. There's something about you that I just can't put my finger on. Let's, if you have time, let's talk to each other and get to know each other a little bit better. So that is really a wonderful opportunity for new love and new romance. If you're, if you're married already, this is a day to celebrate your relationship and to spend a little bit of money on your relationship and to say, do you know what? We've been together 20 years. Let's celebrate that and let's do something nice for ourselves because we have stayed together through thick and thin and we should reward each other for doing that. Marriage is hard sometimes. If you're single, then it's a wonderful day to meet someone new and permanent. If you're not interested in relationships at all, then this is a wonderful opportunity for you to walk through the threshold and to find what makes you passionate and happy. And that is your life purpose here on planet Earth and how you can translate that purpose into a practical way of working with it and transforming it as the Tyrells have done with fruit and apples and turning that into money. How can you turn your passion and the value it adds and how can you turn that into money? So there is lots and lots of gifts being handed out by the universe to everybody, regardless of what their particular circumstances are. Finally, we have the Ace of Coins, and the Ace of Coins is the first card of the suit of coins. So we have the first and the last. We have the Alpha and the Omega. We have God here, or the universe, or a loving force present in this card reading, because... The Ace of Coins is a gift from the universe. It's a blessing. You're given something that is incredibly valuable and you've done nothing to get it. So you either are presented with an inheritance or a windfall financially or, yeah, someone just gives you money or you get an idea that's like, oh, this is a fabulous idea. And if I market this, I can make a lot of money with it. And it's also a gift in the sense of people who are looking to combine life purpose and passion and work, because that's quite an elevated thing. You know, a lot of 18 year olds work at, at uh, jobs they don't enjoy, and that's just their first foray into the working world, and they're figuring it out as they go. Most of us, as we progress in work, we want our work to be something that's actually aligned with who we are. So the older you get, the more you try and Take your personal desires and you try and create those at work. So the gift here today for the people who aren't sure about what their life purpose and work is, is you get a gift from the universe saying you could be an amazing um, surfing instructor, for instance. And that idea pops into your head and it totally resonates with what your passions are, with what you've been wanting to do. You love being outside. You love the beach. Uh, you're an amazing swimmer. You know how to surf. Um, and the only options in your town, San Diego, for instance, are working at American Express or MasterCard or the beach. But there don't seem to be many jobs on the beach. So start your own surfing school. You need to invest in three boards to get that going and you teach two people and then you expand from there as an example. If you start a business on this day, it will be blessed by the Ten of Coins and the Ace of Coins and it's likely to be a business that is there for you for a long period of your life if not permanent. So this is an amazing day all day round. It's an amazing day to start a new business to start a new relationship, to walk into that threshold of a new chapter of your life, which is going to be permanent, long term, full of joy and riches and abundance. And it's given to you. The universe just decides to say, let's shower these people with some love and some security and all of the things that they long for. Congratulations. I, I hope that you have watched the video and that you didn't turn off after the first 50 seconds because this is a day that is life changing. It's an amazing day. And I know I've said that before, but we've got to use the opportunity when a reading says it's life changing 
then you got to use that energy and see if it's if how it can manifest itself in your life. So tomorrow, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm not going to sit in my apartment all day um, filming videos and doing appointments. I'm also going to go out in the evening and I'm going to maybe go to a show or a bar or a, a, a club where I can go dancing and stuff. And I will just give the universe the opportunity to present me with all of these gifts because I'm making myself available. And that's all they're saying today. Just take the initiative, put yourself out there. And what's also beautiful is that you naturally realize your own value. There's no, oh, but maybe when I'm a bit thinner or maybe when I have a bit more money. No, no, no. Today is the right day. Today is the day you're going to find this. I think this is one of the most positive readings I've done in many, many, many weeks. So this is an important day that you need to show up for and really make the most of and enjoy. It's going to bless you endlessly. Four and 10 is 14 and one is 15. One and five is six. Perfect. Six is a temporary opportunity. It's a chance that you get once. Of course, there will be other chances to make business decisions and love decisions. But this is a one-time opportunity where someone who is a soulmate can come in or when you can start a business, which is your dream. So that window of opportunity is going to close at the end of the day. So while it's open during this day, make sure you present yourself to different places and you make other people take notice of you in some way. And the universe is going to take a big step towards you and really bless you. So be awake, listen to the guidance that's coming through and then say thank you very much. I'm so thrilled with this universe. You really made my life better today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So have a great day. If you are someone who struggles with figuring out what your life purpose is or what your vocational aptitudes are or whether they're one and the same, then please get in touch with me for a private reading because I can answer that for you very easily. I use astrology, tarot, and numerology in my private readings. It shows me a blueprint of your soul, what you're meant to do work-wise, what your life purpose is and where you've been in past lifetimes, what's destined for you in love and health and travel and moving in this lifetime. I can also answer any questions you may have. And look at the future. I can do a solar return chart for your birthday to see what's coming up from your birthday. During the next year, until your next birthday, I can look at what's coming up over the next couple of weeks and months and years. So if you're interested in that, then please order your reading with me on my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this amazing, wonderful YouTube channel. If you enjoy my videos or if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe. And also by subscribing and making sure the bell is on, then I do live tarot readings on YouTube. If you want to ask a free question, I do sessions where I come on live with a deck of tarot cards and you ask a question and I pull a card for you. It's a mini reading. It just gives you a small little idea. But for people who can't afford readings, it's a great little thing that I do and I really have fun with it. So it's really great. Subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.